Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now we are on theorem number two. In, uh, let's just read theorem number two. So central angles that are congruent have congruent intercept arcs. And I do believe that I forgot to mention this one in your um, class before on the previous video. But let me just and but I do think that I have um, discussed this one on our current class. And anyways, these symbols that you see here. They are called hash marks. Okay, this denotes congruency. Okay, without writing the, for example, CD is congruent segment AB. Okay, without writing this specifically in the figure itself, we can denote that they are congruent if they have the same number of hash marks. Meaning, 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 meaning. These two seg these two arcs, arc AB, this one, and arc CD, they would be congruent even if I will not write it down as a statement. Why? Because they have the same number of hash marks. One hash mark and another hash mark. But then again, the hash marks will only work if they are of the same kind. They are of the same kind. So meaning, this CD is only congruent to AB and not this angle. Because angles are different from arcs. Again, hash marks will only work if and only if they are of the same kind. So, kung sakali, if by any chance you will have this one, let's say that we have this figure. This, and we have, we have this. Definitely, they are not congruent. Why? Kasi this is a, a side, okay? This is a side, and it's a straight line, and this one is an arc. Even though they have the same hash mark like 1 and 1, they will not be the same because they are not of the same kind. Okay. So that would be for the hash marks as a slight review. Okay. So why did we discuss about that hash mark? Because in this uh, theorem number 2, it is said that the central angles are that are congruent have congruent intercepted arcs. So I will not go back with the intercepted arcs. Okay, basically, uh, intercepted arcs are ano, the one that subtends an angle. Okay? Yung nasa sakop. Okay? So anyways, it is said there that if we have this say um, COD angle, if we have angle COD and it is congruent to angle AOB, then, then arc AB is congruent to arc CD. It's very simple actually. Okay? If the central angles are congruent, then the arcs are also congruent. So, what do you mean by that? Say, um, say angle COD is equals to, say, um, say, uh, say we have this 45 degrees. Okay? And angle AOB is 45 degrees. Okay? If our arc AB is equals to 45 degrees as well, then what do you think is the measure of arc CD based on our theorem? COD is equals to 45. Then we can say that angle AOB is also 45 degrees. Then we can say that angle um, I arc AB arc AB is equals to 45 degrees. Then why is that so? Because remember, central angles are also are always congruent to their intercepted arcs and that is a stated fact that we have discussed in our previous lessons again central angles central angles are always congruent to the intercepted arcs okay they are always congruent so therefore if this is 45 then this is 45 then if this aob is also 45 then CD, arc CD is also equal to 45 degrees. Then we can assume that in this theorem, all arcs and um, angles, they are all equal. Because we are always talking about the central angle, which is of course congruent always to the intercepted arc. Okay, basically, it's like that. Okay, let's try to dumb it down a little bit. If we dumb it down a little bit, then, sorry. If we dumb it down a little bit, then we can... Oh, she's wait long for what? Angle uh, and then it's arc, arc CD is congruent. Ay, no, no, no. A, arc AB. Baliktad pala ako, sorry. Let me just remove this one. Okay, if we dumb it down a little bit, then we can just simply say that 
if we have central angles and we have intercepted arcs, take note, it is plural. We have central angles and intercepted arcs, okay? And the central angles are congruent, then everything else is congruent. It's that simple. Okay, if we have congruent central angles, then all the intercepted arcs are also congruent. And everything is congruent. Take note, everything is congruent. Lahat. So, if we have this case, 45 isa, 45 na lahat. But this would only work if and only if the central angles are congruent. Okay? Or, we can say it the other way around. That if, say, we have this figure, say we have this figure, this circle, and we have this, say, um, angle here and another angle here, okay? Sorry, let me fix that. And another angle here. Okay, if we say that this is 60 degrees, this arc here is 60 degrees, and this is 60 degrees, it means that these two arcs are congruent, right? So we can say that, oh yes, this arc is congruent. Then can we also say that these angles are congruent? Yes, long as they are central angles and intercepted arcs. Okay, it's the other way around naman. Kasi kanina, we said that if the angles are congruent, then the arcs are also congruent. In this case, if the arcs are congruent, then definitely the angles are also congruent if and only if central angles and intercepted arcs. And you might ask, Sir, gagana ba yan sa inscribed angle? Angles? No. Okay, it's a big no. Okay, it will not work in inscribed angles because of course, we know that the measurement of inscribed angles are always half, okay, are always um, half the arc, uh, yeah, half the arc, or what they call the intercepted arc, okay? So that would be it for our um, second theorem, it's quite easy lang naman, okay? We will be, we are talking about central angles and intercepted arcs, which means if one is congruent, Take note, if one, one, dalawa lang naman din discuss natin, central angles and arcs. If the arcs are congruent here, if the arcs are congruent, then the angles are also congruent. But, 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 if the angles are congruent, then also the arcs are congruent. Okay? So that would be it for our second theorem. If you would have any other questions, go back to the video. It's short lang naman. It's an 8-minute video. And you can ask me in our class. Thank you for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.